guys, your boy SMG. Welcome back to another Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC discussion video. And today, Sabi and Vergaben, you know, they've been de well, not today, just the past week. Sabi and Vergaben have been deconfirming fighters for the Fire Pass number five spot. And I just wanted to run through this whole list of characters that you might be not seeing for Fire Pass five, or fighters that you know you might already see that are not going to assume be deconfirmed and then we can go through some possibilities of who might be fire pass 5 all right so i'm going to start off to the beginning sabi and virgoman started deconfirming fighters first of all there was uh it was going to be the main five there was scorpion doom guy ryu hayabusa Crash Bandicoot and Geno. You can all see them in their spots. And, uh, yeah. And then, a little while after, a, little, a bit after that, Tracer was also deconfirmed. And then after that, there's like a much more stuff. Like, like the Gordon Freeman thing. You know, Half Life. That happened, and while well, Gordon's not going to be that. Gordon's not going to be part of the Fire Pass 5. Uh, not Fire Pass 5, but uh, he's not going to be character DLC number 5. We also got the... Got uh, Dante, which was uh, taken with a grain of salt, Sabi said. And uh, Dante, you know, was not character 5. Then we had uh, the, the... The Resident Evil Spirits, and... Uh, Yep, Leon and J Leon S. Kennedy and Jill Valentine are <sighs> deconfirmed. Sad. And I'm sad to say this, but Bandai Namco characters are deconfirmed. So, including Heihachi and Lloyd Irving. So, hmm, sad. I also heard, not on this list, but I also heard that Rayman and Ubisoft, Ubisoft characters are, like, deconfirmed. So, Rabbits, Ubisoft, R Rayman, just, those characters are deconfirmed as well. There's some other characters, but I don't really know them as much. But let's uh, go on to here. So, here are the assumed deconfirmed characters. You have Master Chief, and you have Monster Hunter. I can understand why... I don't see Steve on the list, I'm, I'm pretty surprised. I'm just going to talk about Master Chief and Monster Hunter for a little bit. But Master Chief, um, he would be a really cool character. Sad that he's gonna be assumed deconfirmed. Everybody's assuming that he's deconfirmed, but I don't think he's really deconfirmed. Same thing with Monster Monster Hunter. I don't have a lot to say about him, but yeah. Let excuse me. Uh, let's go to some possibilities of who might be DLC Fighter Fire Five. So possibilities. I'm actually so if you're in yellow, then that means you have a chance to be in the game. And I am really happy with those possibilities because. I see a bunch that are like, or not not a bunch, I see like one or two that might be in the game and then one of them I have like, okay, maybe, and then two are like, okay, maybe not. But one I see definitely not happening and that is, I'm going to go in, in like mixed order, but Kratos, I don't think Kratos has a chance of getting in. He's really popular, people do want him in the game. I don't see Kratos happening because, well... He's a PlayStation rep, and well, Nintendo and play Nintendo and Sony are like rivals. I mean, it's great that Microsoft and Nintendo uh, got to be friends, but uh, I don't think Sony and Nintendo are going to be friends anytime soon. I mean, in the future maybe, but uh, right now, I'm going to say no. Next up, we have Laura Croft, and. Uh, I never played Tomb Raider before, but I heard it's really good, and there was also a movie. I wouldn't mind her in Smash, because people do want her, because Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is for good boys and girls. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is for good boys and girls of many different ages, so we decided not to feature her. Please forgive us. Total respect, Sakurai. But, I mean, she's covered up, so, yeah, she can be in the game if she wants. I mean... I wouldn't mind Laura, to be honest. She's a possibility. Depends on uh, who you're asking. Spyro. Mm, I don't know. 
he's a possibility, but uh, Crash is deconfirmed, so I'm going to be a bit scared about Spyro being deconfirmed. <sighs> Since Dante was deconfirmed, I'm feeling the same thing for Phoenix Wright, but Phoenix Wright is, can be a really good, cool character. His moveset, they can probably use Marvel vs. Capcom and then put a, different, a few different moves in it. I think that can do it. And then, guys, let's go on to my next character, which I'm really happy to say about. He's basically the only character that I actually want. Or, like, I, there's a bunch of characters that I want, but they're, th most of them are deconfirmed. The only character that I want that is in the possibility section is my boy, at the far right, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Don't get me started on this fucker, dude. Sora, my bo my boy Sora, my boy. I think he's gonna be. I don't. I'm having gut feelings that he won't be Fighter Five, and he might be in Fighter Pass Two or not Fighter F Pass Two, but individual DLC. But I really do want Sora, and if those possibilities are coming to like very short, Sora's like mad popular. Sakurai and Nomura are fans of each other's work. Sak Sakurai is a big Kingdom Hearts fan. Disney is alright with the concept of Sora and Smash. Hashimoto deleted that one tweet saying yes, but then deleted it because of that NDA. And, you know, I know that Sora got deconfirmed in, like, May with Hashimoto, a student, and stuff. And, well, it's an NDA. I mean, that sa same thing happened with King K. Rule, Ridley, and Banjo-Kazooie when they said they were impossible. I don't think Sora's going to be a big possibility either. Disney says it... I, I'm going to repeat this again. Disney says it's fine, but they need permission from Nomura and Square Enix. Fans need to make sure that they really want Sora and Smash, which, you know, we already got covered. Thank you, HMK. And, uh... He cannot bring along Donald, Goofy, and Mickey Mouse. I wouldn't enjoy that one bit. And Sora's already been on two 3DS games... Uh, one Game Boy Advance game, which is the only Kingdom Hearts game that I actually played. And there's also Distant Drop on the 3DS. And there's also a bunch of Disney games on Switch as well, like Disney Sumsums and uh, Epic uh, Epic Mickey 1 and 2. And uh, I there's like a bunch more, like Aladdin, Lion King, I think, were also on the Switch. It's great. Sora for Smash. Sora for Smash. So I heard that so I also heard that Sabi is gonna stop deconfirming characters. So that's like a great thing. So great. I don't know about Vergamen though. I'm gonna have to go in game FAQs and see if Vergamen is deconfirming more characters. If Sora's deconfirmed, that's gonna suck. It'll be fine to be honest. Sora will be in the second pass. But Sora's a possibility. Maybe he might be the only most highly requested fighter he's like if you saw that Paul he's like in all three of them second in Japan first in the US and Europe Sora has a great chance to be in Smash either as DLC number five or he can be individual DLC after the fighters pass post fighter pass I should say guys this has been Sabi and Vergamen deconfirming characters for fighter pass for uh, DLC number 5, Challenger Pack number 5, whatever you want to call it. It's Boy, Boy SMG. I'm going to dip you guys. And uh, yeah, deuces. Bye. Thanks for watching. I'm going to make another Smash video real soon. N not right now because I need to like, you know, change, like, update my flow of my uploads. It can't be all Smash. I'll see you guys later. Deuces, guys. Thanks for watching.